Hi, I'm Sarah Dimmick, owner and founder of Physical Equilibrium in New York City. For my own personal workouts, I like to do a lot of body weight training and total body strength training. Integrating the core is essential. Now, I'll take you through a few of my favorite exercises. So roll down to your back. We're gonna start with some bridges, just rolling through the hips up and rolling down. We're starting with these double leg bridges to really get the glutes firing, to stretch out the quads, the hip flexors, and to start to engage the core, the lower back and the abdominals. Do a few more of these double legs, lifting up and coming down. And last one, lifting up and hold. Staying here, we're gonna go into marches, lifting one leg, coming down. So now the point of this one here is not to let the hips shift or the hips drop. You wanna press firmly into the foot that's on the ground as you lift the other leg up and then keeping the core and the hips stable. Abdominals tight, a few more here, lifting up. This one's a great one for runners. Last one, hold and stay. Take the leg up and balance. Lift the hips as high as you can. Switching legs, other leg, lifting up and balance. Hold that contraction in that glute. And good, coming down. Now let's go into some core work, engaging the abdominals. Tap the toes down, lifting the knees up. Don't let the back arch. And then pull the abdominals in as you pull the knees into the chest. And this one's a great one really for anyone because you wanna work on engaging that core and keeping a neutral spine. As you get more advanced, you can reach the legs out further and tap them a little further away. Again, resisting that urge to arch your back. Do one more and down. Now we're gonna flip over to hands and knees. Coming to hands and knees, go into a few cat-cow, arching and curving the spine, rounding your back, arching up and curving. Press firmly into the hands and make sure that the knees are right under the hips. Last one, come to a flat back, plank. Now straighten both legs and hold in the, firmly into the plank. Knee to chest, <sighs> pulling the abdominals in. This is a great core and arm exercise. And we're gonna go about 20 of these. <sighs> Let's go 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Pull the abdominals up, three, two, and one, coming down. This next one's for the back. It's called scorpion. So you're gonna take the arms in a T, lift one leg, reach it toward the opposite hand. <sighs> lifting up, coming down, lifting up. So this is stretching the hip flexor, engaging the core, engaging the back. I'm really stretching the upper body too. As you resist the leg, reaching across. Do two more. Reach, last one, and good. Coming back to the center. Now let's move into some standing exercises. Coming up, one of my favorite exercises is just a squat with a straight leg side kick out to the side. Squat, extend the leg out, and make sure that the standing leg is straight also when you go into the kick. Exhale as you kick, down and out. Let's do four more on this side. Three more, three, and two. Last one, and switch. Other side, squat and kick. Squat, two. So you really wanna lift from the hip, keep the toe facing forward. Tendency for people is to lift the toe up then you're gonna get the quad. That's not quite what we're doing here. We wanna focus on the hip. Let's do three, two more, two, and last one, kick. Now we're gonna go into some lunge. Now this one's like the basic lunge, but we're gonna add the knee lift. Lunging down, knee lift to the front. 
and up. So this is working a uh, dynamic motion here. Lunge to knee kick. Good for runners because you get that balance in the leg, stabilization in the core and the hip. Good, two more on this side. Last one, good. Other side, leg is back, lunge, knee kick. Challenging the balance there, <laughs> down and knee kick. Obviously this isn't my best side. <laughs> Work on strengthening this leg a little bit more. I have to do a few more of these. Good. And let's do three more. Three, down, and two. Last one, good. Okay, so this is, you're gonna see my balance training here and my ballet coming down and up. Let's pulse down in the second position, squat here. Let's go five more, five, four, three, two, holding down. Now heel tap, heel tap. So holding the squat, really working on the quads, core, and we're adding the heels, calves, up and down. Three more, three, two, this challenge is balance, and one. Excellent, we're gonna move back down to the mat, coming to the mat, and we're gonna do side kick, kind of like a modified side plank. So elbows right under shoulders, shins are parallel to the mat. Lift up, then kick the leg out. Again, like we did in the standing side kick, work that glute medius here. Great for runners. When you lift up, kick, and then bring it in when you lower down. Three more, three, and two. Last one, up and out. Good. Flipping sides, other side. Shins parallel to the mat. Elbow right under the shoulder. Lifting up, kick. Two, let's do 10, three, four, five, six, seven. This is great for the obliques, for the shoulder, and for the hip. Last one, and down. Okay, we're gonna do a few abdominals to finish up here. So laying down, one leg is up. Grab the ankle or the calf. Other leg is straight. Now you're gonna lift the head and the shoulders up and scissor, scissor, four and five, six, seven. Pull the abdominals in, nine, 10. Hands behind head, elbow to knee, switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and good, okay. Grand finale, this is the last one. Laying down, full sit up, up to a V-sit. Lay back down. <sighs> Exhale, up, down. <sighs> Three, last two, two, and up, hold. See if you can extend the legs, balance, and laying down and stretch. Great job.